to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Please subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. My name is Yvonne and it's been a minute since I've posted a video. In this particular video, I'm painting a celestial lady that is currently titled Celestial Vibes, but I may change that title. I'm not 100% not sure yet. I used Turner Design Gouache and 100% cotton watercolor paper. I'll list the specific brand names in the description box. This artwork was the sticker design for my Patreon in April. And the stickers and prints are currently available for purchase in my shop. I will also list that link in the description box. I figured I'd update you on what I've been up to in the last year while this speed paint is running. Um, so yeah, I became a bit overwhelmed last year, 2021. So I decided to take a little break from recording and I even took a break from Patreon. Um, I found myself with like, you know, a full plate mommy duties and I had three children book projects that all require quite a bit of work. Um, I got to the point where I was having issues with my hand as well due to how much painting I was doing in such a short span of time. I had to take a lot more breaks than I imagined in order to rest my hand and wrist. I'm very, very fortunate that my clients are very personable and they understand um, that I, I was having like a physical limitation with getting my work done when I needed to get it done. Um, so fortunately, we were able to work through that um, with no sorts of problems. <laughs> Um, I'm so, so grateful for them. But as of March of this year, 2022, I have since reactivated my Patreon. Unfortunately, my uh, numbers of patrons, um, that my number of patrons has dropped as a result of the pause. So hopefully with um, going back to building my online presence a bit more, I'll get some more supporters. I'd love the opportunity to provide my artwork to more clients and customers. I'm also starting to push towards becoming seen as a local muralist as well. So hopefully um, I'm able to get my hands on doing a few more mural projects because I just, I find it amazing. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Because I decided to take a break from picture books for the time being, um, partially to heal my wrist, also to heal my mind because it did get kind of repetitive after a while, painting the same thing over, you know, over and over again. Um, and it wasn't quite, while it was my artwork and my interpretation of the, the books provided by the client, it was still not my idea. So... I'm trying to do more of my work right now and before I get back into um, doing picture books for other people. But yeah, um, so because I have been taking that break, I had to come up with some different ways to, you know, make an income. Um, particularly, f I'm, um, I was in the market for art-related jobs that I can pretty much do from home. So I took to the internet <laughs> and I was fortunate enough to find a summer job at a local art center. I'm set to work there in a couple of weeks and I am excitedly anxious because it's been a while since I've worked with kids other than my own. <laughs> um, beyond that, I submitted a proposal application for a mural um, and I was among those selected to paint during the um Juneteenth Festival in Virginia Beach. This that was this past weekend. Um, I think we we were had to paint from yeah the sixteenth through the nineteenth. I ended up painting from the sixteenth through the twentieth. I will go into detail whenever I post that video. Um, so yes, I'm planning on posting more videos, and I did record my painting process. Um, but yeah. Um, so that was the inaugural or first um, Juneteenth festival, I do believe, and it was being held by 
the um, Virginia African American Cultural Center, um, which will be built soon in Norfolk, and the Vibe, Vibe Art District in Virginia Beach. So um, they um, sent out a mural call for artists to submit proposals for the theme of unity in the community and I was fortunate enough to have my painting selected or my um my proposal selected so I spent the weekend painting that and I had loads of help from family thank goodness <laughs> because I don't know what I would have done without them but I'll get into all that when I do make that video um yeah and speaking of murals I was also selected to do one in April of 2021. I'm not sure if I spoke about that on this channel yet, um, but I did also record that process, so I should be posting that video in the next week or so, hopefully. Um, it's definitely, I mean, it's been over a year, so um, I'm really hoping I can get that, get that edited and post it for you because it, it was really, it was really thrilling. Um, because it was my first official uh, mural um, in, in outside where people were watching me paint. Um, other big news, I now have a brick and mortar store in Virginia Beach. Um, my business partner is Jackie of Shli Kauai. She and I decided to team up and open our own little booth within the Painted Tree Boutique in the hilltop area of Virginia Beach. I say brick and mortar, but it's more um, drywall and cement. Um, but it's super cute and super nice in there. I've heard people describe of it as a flea market, and no, it's, it's not like a flea market at all, despite the fact that people are... are Despite the fact that people have their own booths there and manage the booths themselves, it is, if you want to say flea market, it is a high-end flea market, so to speak. But no, it's more, it's definitely more of a boutique, um, kind of like a consignment store, except we, the vendors, set up our space and we come and go with new inventory, um, or we, we come with new inventory and we um, label everything ourselves and all that jazz. But I'll get more into that whenever I post that video because I'm definitely planning on posting a video regarding the shop. Um, I will post the store information in the description box so you can get an idea of what we offer there. It's definitely going to be on brand with what we both do. Um, or it definitely is on brand with what we both do, and that is artwork geared towards the quiet or cute um, Japanese-inspired stuff. So um, I can't wait to do that video. I'm, I'm, I need, I really want to do it now, but I know I need to get that mural video up first. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, other, let's see. Another thing is. I purchased a heat press machine and I'm lucky enough to have, have a friend who was selling her embroidery machine and she sold it to me for a pretty decent price. Um, and so I'm very, very thankful to her for that. And I'm also very thankful that I, I earned income at KatsuCon this year, um, working in her last big show. So. Hopefully you'll be seeing the labor of those machines soon. I just ordered a bunch of t-shirts, t-shirt blanks, um, and I still need to finalize the artwork for the, um, for heat pressing those shirts. Um, so I'm really excited about being able to offer apparel soon, and I need to teach myself how to use the embroidery machine, which is a very, very daunting. So one step at a time, heat press first. But yeah, that has pretty much been it. I've been trying to keep busy and make money while doing what I, what I love, as I'm sure most of us are trying to do. Um, please leave a flower in the comments if you made it to this point in the video. Like and subscribe if you liked. 
um, and you want to see more of my content. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you soon.